What's going on guys? In this video I'll be showing you all 12 locations that you can know as homes inside the base game of Forza Horizon 4, which means anything after the launch day will not be included. So let's start from the very beginning where you earn your very first home by completing the very first Horizon Story mission with the Bugatti Chiron. This place will be your main home unless you own the VIP location on the other side of the map. If you don't own VIP then you can still buy that location but it won't be for free. Now each area that you own can be used to teleport yourself across the map. However, if you buy the 2 million credit location, then you'll be able to fast travel anywhere you want, which is a very needed feature for most players. One last thing to note is that there is a barn find rumor mixed in with one of the castles, and luckily it's not the most expensive one on the list. Anyways, that's going to be it for me, so I hope this short video can be helpful in some way. You're not going to believe this. The film producers bought this house to use as a set, but when filming wrapped, they just left it. I had a word and you know what? They said you could have the house for free as a thank you for your work on the movie. Here we are. Nice little semi-detached cottage in Ambleside. It's neat, cozy, convenient for the festival site and very, very British. Perfect for Horizon UK. What do you think? If you fancy a break from the speed and noise, I found this gorgeous little mountain retreat. Couple of acres of land, view of the river. <laughs> you probably prefer speed and noise, yeah? Hey, it's up to you. Kingfisher Cottage. Doesn't get any more serene than this, my friend. This one is on the National Heritage Register though, so don't ask me to put in a satellite dish or a basketball court or anything. Lovely little seaside retreat. You'd have direct access to the beach, but if you go swimming, just be careful, yeah? You wouldn't be the first driver I've had to fish out of the sea, or a lake, or a public fountain, once. Apparently there are big Edinburgh events coming up, so I thought you could use a place in the suburbs. It's not cheap, but come on, this is the most beautiful city in the UK, maybe the world, if you ask Alex.
So, the other day, I'm searching the woods here. Driver with a busted sat-nav. Don't ask. And I see something through the trees. I pull off the road, down the gravel path, and find... this. Turns out the owner's looking to sell. I found this place in the Lake District, right on Derwent Water. Not sure you really need this many rooms, but hey, you never know. Your whole Horizon fan club might come and stay for the weekend. The guidebook says, this magnificent stately home has presided over the south of Edinburgh for more than a century and is believed by many to be haunted. Um, let's just put that guidebook away, shall we? Here we go, house and grounds with private road access. You can sit in the front room and watch the quiet, calm waters. That is assuming I don't have to help a stranded driver in the middle of the lake again. So, I think I might be able to hook you up with a castle. It'd be in partnership with National Heritage and you'd have to let visitors tour the museum and maybe your car collection, but come on, a castle. This is it, Edinburgh Castle. Technically, you'd be a patron and not a resident, and you'd still have to allow full access to the public, but hey, you're never going to forget your address again, are you? <laughs> 